Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris and Lego just sent me a gigantic Lego package full of 14 brand new Lego sets that just released on June 1st, 2023 for me to review. Now, put in your guesses now as to what's in this because I'm going to open this up. Now, obviously I've already opened it to spare you the opening experience, but I really just have not gotten a chance to take a look at all of the contents yet. You can probably see one of the boxes peeking out, but you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look right now Yes, this is literally the entire LEGO Friends Summer 2023 wave. LEGO Friends has honestly been hitting it out of the park. We've gotten so many incredible LEGO Friends sets, and I can't wait to actually showcase all of these in probably a mega review of Friends 2023, because I purchased basically the entirety of the January wave myself. Now LEGO has sent me the summer wave for free, so thanks LEGO, and I cannot wait to take a look at them. So let's just unbox all, I think there's like 14 or 12 sets. We're gonna find out, unboxing all of them right now. So the first one here is 41748. This is a really nice city street build. This is the flagship set of the wave. And what's really cool is that this actually combines with one of the other sets where there it is on the back there. You can see it combines with 4147. I think that's the community center forming an even taller tower, which is very cool how they have the consistency between these. Each floor has something very unique going on, and I just love how colorful this is while still feeling like maybe a building that you could see in a more whimsical style of city. Moving onward, speaking of that community center, that's 41747 right here. This is, as you can see, the same exact corner design as the main building there. It just looks so, so cool. The kitchen, you've got a nice little eatery area above, and I cannot wait to actually combine these sets together. Now, those are the only two sets that I've actually opened up so far. I have literally not seen or looked at anything else in this box. So I'm very excited to do the unboxing right now. You can get my live reaction. I'm gonna start off with this one. Okay, what is this? Okay, 41759. Unfortunately, these are the European boxes, so I don't have the set names on hand, but this is, I think, the community bus. It's an interesting design for a bus. I don't know if this is something that I would have picked up on my own if LEGO didn't send it to me. I usually buy all the building-based friend sets, but the vehicles are hit or miss. It's certainly really interesting. I definitely wanna have this in hand and fully built to really experience it myself and see exactly what the build is like. The proportions are interesting. I like the brand new piece that they've introduced there with like three different clips on it. Kind of hard to see, but it's a new piece they've introduced just for City and Friends. But yeah, this is going to be a really cool one to put together and I can't wait to build it. Moving onwards, now there's one set here that I'm really excited for, but we'll save that for later. This is another vehicle. This looks to be a news van, 41749. This is kind of a deforestation anti-cutting down trees protest it looks like so they're staging news okay that's actually a really interesting concept for a lego set where well, you've got a worker there trying to cut down the tree and they're protesting it and the entire thing is being streamed live on the news interesting idea for a set again the van isn't anything super special but it is a pretty cool build for a standard friends vehicle moving onwards we have the next set here okay interesting this oh this is really nice 41745 if i recall correctly this is autumn's horse stables I love the way they've done the roof. That just looks really realistic and earthy to me. The colors look good. I like that you can see the detail of the logs. This is just such a cool looking build in general. And it definitely feels like it could fit in in a standard Lego city. One of my favorite things about the new Friends Waves is that the buildings feel a lot more realistic. And honestly, a lot better than Lego City's buildings because you actually get diversity in the types of buildings. Maybe City 2023 Summer is changing that because City's Summer Wave is also really good. But in the past, we've gotten a lot of fire stations and police stations and whatnot. And this gives us some variety in the kinds of sets that we have. Moving on here, we have a smaller set. Okay, this is actually really cute. I actually really like the set. It is 41752. It's kind of like a seaplane type of build here. It's very bulbous and round, but I really love the way that they actually had this come across. You have a nice molded whale there as well, which is super fun. And this just looks like a nice and charming little set to be able to play around with. Next up, let's see what we have. We have a couple of small sets. Okay, wow, they really sent me just everything. <laughs> okay, so first we have a four plus set. This is kind of just a throwaway build. It's like a little car with some beach area, but it's just a nice supplementary set for a four plus build. This here is actually a really nice build. I'm guessing this is probably around $10. Again, I'll be doing a full review on these, but this is some sort of a, it looks like a pie stand. You've got like a, an area to cook pies. You can choose from the menus. Are those printed? I think those are new printed pie pieces. Those don't look like stickers. 
Okay, that's actually really cool. So just a nice little charming small set. Always good to see small sets hit it out of the park. Let me see, we're gonna take a look at this next one here. Oh, cool. This is actually pretty cool. It's part of their wildlife sub-theme for the uh, the nautical wildlife. I like how you can see that plane in the background as well. But this obviously has a brick-built otter. It is kind of an ocean conservatory area. This is a really cool-looking build. I like the aesthetics of it. You have some interior as well as some underwater details as well. So you kind of have different layers of water going in here. And two of the brand new relaxing otter pieces, which are so cool to get in Lego form. Next up, we have still quite a few more sets to go. Wow, this is a lot. Uh, another four plus set here. So this is kind of a horse competition. Nice to get new printed details here, but probably not a set I would have gotten myself, but it is nice to get the full on friends wave. It's just a pretty juniorized style of set. But for a four plus set, this is actually not bad. Like the build of this is actually pretty good, I would say. Moving onwards, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna save this one. I know there's one set in here I'm saving for last because that's the one I'm most excited for. That's so good. But I'm gonna take a look at some of these bigger sets now. This is a recreation and sports center. You've got a soccer ball, a beach ball, a baseball, it looks like. What is that? That, hmm, interesting. It looks like you actually have a field to play soccer in. That's very cool. You've got a basketball area. You have, is that a rock climbing wall or like a rock climbing tower? Okay, that's actually really cool. I'm a big fan of how that one turned out. Obviously, you have lots of detail here. I love the sign. The sign looks so cool. You even have a giant, like, dumbbell there. This is a really cool, like, gym or workout area. Yeah, you've got a treadmill. You've got, like, a boxing station. You have, what is that? Like, a, a biking machine. Very, very cool. I don't think we've ever gotten, like, a gym in LEGO before. I could be wrong on that, but this might be the first gym that we've gotten from LEGO. Very cool. I, I have to think, but I mean, I mean, obviously there's training areas and whatnot, but this is, this is a cool, somewhat realistic looking building. I actually am quite excited to build that one. There looks like to be a, a lot of fun play features in that. Next up, oh, this is another one I'm really excited for. This is the new water park. So, whoa, that is a very complicated gearing mechanism they have there. I don't know what exactly it all does, but that is a lot more gears than I was expecting to be hidden underneath here. But you've got, I assume this spins, it says connected function. So maybe this goes back and forth as well. I'm excited to make this. They've recolored the Lego Lord of the Rings fern piece in lime, which is very cool. This is, oh wow. Okay, that's cool. Whoa, they, I, I've never seen this. So they actually show the mechanism that, that is so complicated. What, what is going on? Okay, so they have like a flow rider here. This goes back and forth. Okay, this is really cool that they actually show you how the mechanism works cut away. I love how the back of the box looks here. Wow, okay. Very excited to build this now that it's all a fully connected mechanism. You have a lot of engineering going into the design of this. This looks to be a winner to me and I can't wait to put it together. Now there's a couple more sets here, again, saving, in my opinion, the best for last, but this is also really good. We have a brand new boat for Lego Friends. It's kind of a dual pontoon boat. You're utilizing some of these curved elements from the Lego 18 plus icons. I believe the Porsche 911 or something had these curved elements, new and orange though. And this is like a party boat. So you have, I guess it's supposed to be a clean green energy party boat. So they really want to emphasize that this is not bad for the environment. You've got a submarine here as well. Overall, this is just such a fun design. And yeah, this is really, okay, so they're picking up trash. That's nice. Okay, but there's still one more set left to unbox from this massive package. And that is personally my favorite Lego Friends release for this particular summer wave. And probably my favorite friend set ever, which is saying something because they've had some absolutely amazing sets this year. And that is, oh, here it is. The Botanical Garden. So this is the brand new Botanical Garden for LEGO Friends, set 41757. It has a full glass roof. It is a fully enclosed building, where on the back you can see that they have a lot of really nicely recolored pieces for different types of plants. They've recolored the saxophone piece in lime as kind of different vines. You've got butterflies that are fully printed, and it actually all corresponds to real-life flowers and real-life butterflies that they specifically have made brand new pieces or prints for to be able to represent these. This is such a cool design for a set. The exterior looks great. The interior is full of details. You can see a mop that's there for some part of a plant. You also have some red shoulder armor, some like spiky shoulder armor used for plants in there. All sorts of really unique and creative pieces. And this set introduces for the first time brown colored mallard ducks, which are a specialized piece. It's using the rubber duck piece, but they're in brown for the first time. So that is really cute. I'm very happy to get that. And overall, I cannot wait to build this. This is easily my most anticipated 
anticipated set from the entire wave. But this is quite a lot. There are so many sets to build, so I have to get busy and get all these built and ready for review. I literally just got this package today, but I will be building as fast as I can to make sure I can get my LEGO Friends Summer 2023 mega review out as soon as possible. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Thank you all so much for tuning into Duck Breaks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming away very soon. And thanks so much again to LEGO for sending me this massive package of brand new LEGO sets. I'll talk Talk to y'all again very soon.